Hi Virgo, welcome to your October no contact situation love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for, oh my goodness, stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to be looking at solely your person, see what's going on with them, what's their situation, what are they going through, uh, what you need to know, either during this time of very limited or no contact communication, um, maybe even a separation, and we'll see what's going on for them. All right. Welcome in, Virgo. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male and female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies anytime you feel the need to. All right, Virgo. So let's see what is going on with your person of interest, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're thinking about for this reading. If this does resonate for you, Virgo, there will be an extended reading. You can find all that information and the links below for that, as well as everything you need to know about me and this channel. Lots of stuff down there, so check it out if you would like to. So the cards that you see me placing over on the side right there, those are for your extended recent, uh, reading also. I'll show you those a little bit later. And uh, even though all the info is down below, I will tell you um, about the extended also in a little bit here. All right, Virgo. So let's see what is going on during this no contact situation with your person. Well, we have soul mating, which is 34, which is seven. Seven is a very divinely guided spiritual energy. And this is about someone figuring out their soul mission, their soul path, their soul purpose, and who their soulmate is. So your person could be figuring it out here. Let's see. We have a Imarama. Where are you being called to journey to? So this person definitely could be going on a new spiritual journey, being led and guided to go in a whole new direction in life. And we have financial healing. Your money struggles are a thing of the past. Be open to all avenues to receiving and you'll be provided for in every way. So this person could have been uh, through some financial struggles and maybe not feeling good enough. And a lot of people, they cannot move forward in relationships unless they feel financially stable. So yellow here, you know, this could have started as a friendship or maybe a coworker situation. Doesn't have to be, so take that how it resonates for you. All right. So let's see here. I think they're um, finally figuring things out here, Virgo. And they're being called and led and guided to a whole new direction. And I feel like if they've been struggling financially, work, money, career, whatever that is for them, finally, finally getting relief from that. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on. Oh my goodness. All right, that's way too many. We'll take these right here. So we have the Seven of Cups and we have the Ten of Swords. So Seven of Cups is confusion, disillusionment, options, choices, decisions, uh, maybe very daydreamy energy also. Ten of Swords, some sort of ending here for them, completion for them. Could have been painful, maybe not. It could have been um, emotional struggles are over. Worry, stress, anxiety is far, finally over. About them trying to figure out how to get over this financial block maybe they had. All right, so let's see. Four of Wands. So again, being more stable and grounded in their home life. And this is the card of, you know, ceremonies, celebrations. They could have, um, maybe they received a raise. Maybe they received a promotion. Could have been a lot of celebrating. Now feeling stable and grounded. So this could be dating, getting to know, marriage, commitment, engagement doesn't have to be so very stable grounded energy there for the four of wands what else here oh ace of wands in reverse i think that was reverse in another reading and i forgot to put it upright so so there there was a struggle here to start some sort of new beginning in their life it could have been you know maybe they started tried to start their own business entrepreneurship project idea something creative endeavor a project or something like that. Let's see what else here for Virgo's person. So 
Six of Swords. So they're moving on. So they're moving on to peace, harmony, balance. Finally, things looking up could be traveling or distance. Things are probably uh, finally, not probably, finally moving in the right direction for them. Maybe they just physically moved also. It could be also that maybe uh, some sort of new endeavor project didn't quite get off the ground, so they decided just to leave it and focus on other things, and now things are looking better for them. You know, they had to make a big judgment call here to release something here that just wasn't quite working out for them. Scorpio energy here. King of Wands. So it could have been about entrepreneurship of some kind. Leo energy here. So maybe they made a decision here to let it go. Yeah, maybe it just wasn't working out for them. You know, trying to rebuild or build something here. Three of Pentacles. All right. So maybe they're, you know, moving forward with new ideas, new direction, new uh, creativity or passion. Or they lost passion for something that just wasn't working out for them anymore. All right, what else? Three of one. So a lot of waiting here. It could be that they know that you're kind of waiting for them. Waiting for communication, waiting uh, for a new beginning, knowing it's going to happen. There's just a delay. Yeah, because we have the chariot next, cancer energy. That's, you know, forward, positive movement forward, drive, ambition, balance, success, victory, traveling or distance. That's the chariot, the ship coming in, knowing it's coming in. It's just a delay. So, all right, what else here? Their ships are coming in. There's success and victory here. It's just a slight delay. Because the ace of wands is in reverse here, and I kind of see it here. On this wand so either they put something aside for now because it wasn't working out at that time decided to move on and leave it for now and maybe maybe they started something else and it's working out or maybe you know they're gonna go back to it and pick up where they left off and now things are looking good you know moving forward the way they wanted it to could have been due to you know circumstances in life right now Ten of Wands. Yeah, tracking on a new journey. So something was overwhelming, burdensome, a lot of responsibilities, a long, hard journey here for them. I feel like the struggle is over because I kind of see the energy here of moving away from the mountain that was just climbed, moving out of that energy and moving on. So I feel like the struggle is over for them. Something they were struggling with is finally over, whatever that was for them. Could have been business it could have been something else the lovers now they have a free clear energy mind to make a conscious choice here for who their soulmate is we have gemini energy here definitely soulmates them definitely realizing here who their soulmate is they finally got over a hurdle having to do with money career success now they're guided in a new direction now they're moving in a new direction The mountain has been climbed. Now they're on the other side of the block. They've overcome it. All right, what else here? Yeah, Queen of Wands. We just saw the King of Wands, so that's a match. This is Aries energy. So this is someone who is feeling good, confident, secure, fiery, passionate, go-getter. They've accomplished what they set out to. So it's like they're celebrating here that finally something that wasn't working now is. It's finally, finally working now. All right, what else here? Virgo's person, what is going on here? So yeah, Eight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like um, Eight of Swords being trapped or blocked, Ten of Pentacles, wealth, abundance, success, victory. It can be, you know, marriage, commitment, blah, blah, blah. This could be, you know, what they heavily invested in wasn't growing the way it should because something was blocking the energy but i feel like now um those energies are unblocked now they are successful victorious they're celebrating finally things are moving forward blocks are being removed the abundance is coming in and they're stable grounded secure independent single everything's working out now everything's moving forward yeah finally getting the justice they deserve truth clarity justice 
balance, universal law and order, things finally going in their favor. This person could have been divorced in the past. Doesn't have to be. I did see the nine of wands and the three of swords. So I feel like whatever endeavor project, whatever they were creating, you know, a sense of not wanting to give up, but it wasn't working out. So a lot of distress and heartache and heartbreak surrounding that. And yeah, a lot of stress and worry around it too with the nine of swords. But again, knight of swords, things moving forward quickly, Aquarius energy, finally. And underneath justice, I do see temperance here, Sagittarius, divine alchemy. Finally, it's time for the soulmates to come together. Peace, harmony, balance, healing, past lives together. Something meant to be. It's finally time, divine alchemy. Yeah, all right. So let's see here. What else for Virgo's person? Death and rebirth. That's not over between the two of you. You know, death upright is about something over. It's done. It's complete, moving on, and about healing, transition, transformation into the new. But I'm feeling here death in reverse, Scorpio energy here. It is not over between the two of you. It's not. They don't want this to be over between the two of you. All right. What else? What else? Virgo's person. Empress. So they're finally in their power. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. Libra, Taurus. Birthing of a new age for them. Birthing new creation. Things finally working out. Growing, expanding. New energy. Ready now to come in as an emperor to their empress. Could be a power couple here. They could see you as an empress. All right. What else here for Virgo? If this is resonating for you, Virgo. Please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you. In the extended, we will, we will be looking at um, how they're overcoming this energy, how they're moving forward, how, when, where they may reach out, what they want you to know, um, future energies, and we'll also get the power of surrender here cards. We'll see what they have surrendered, what they need to surrender, and we'll get one for you to see what you may need to um, surrender to and what they truly want with you in the future moving forward. Four of Cups, so they cannot stop thinking about you. <laughs> when when am I going to reach out to my Virgo to extend this love offer? Will they accept it? Do they still want me? Will it be unrequited? Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? Will it be? Will it not be? So let's get a couple more on that. I felt like I need a couple more. Ace of Swords. So definitely they having awakening, epiphany, aha moment, truth, clarity, honest uh, communication for a new beginning. Sword of truth, positivity. Yeah, they want they want to move forward quickly here with the Knight of Swords Aquarius, but they're a little stressed out here. Because the nine would turn would give nine and ace would give you the ten, which would start over the new beginning at the ace of swords. Knight of Swords, moving forward fearlessly. They're going to move forward fearlessly, I feel, but they're stressed about it and not sure how they will be accepted, but they're ready to come in with true clarity. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. Soulmate union with the two of cups. Wow. Yeah, and there's that King of Swords, truth, clarity, Gemini energy <laughs> with flowers, gifts, loving gestures, forward movement and love, Knight of Cups, Scorpio. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, they definitely were working on money, career, work issues. Wow. And so let's see what we have here for the extended. We're going to take this further. Well, we have wellness. I had just gotten this for um, Leo's extended. So we have, and there's that Ace of Swords that they're holding. So we have that. We have Awakening. Wow. Wow. And we have Magnify Your Intentions pure innocent energy here with white 
All right, Virgo. So if you're interested in the extended, links are down below. So if you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.